Drift net fishing in Fossil Island just received many improvements, so it actually might be worth doing now. Something that is bothering me though is the current price of the drift nets. Right now, each drift net costs about 5k each, when they used to cost like one tenth of that amount. Because of the high prices of drift nets, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to make a profit out of drift net fishing. To save myself from losing too much money, I'm either going to do 10 hours of drift net fishing or loot from 500 drift nets. I guess whichever one happens first. To give you a quick overview on how drift net fishing works, you first have to go to the underwater area of Fossil Island. Since it's underwater, I brought a fishbowl helmet and a breathing apparatus. That way I won't have to rely off of puffer fish for oxygen. Flippers were also very helpful as they allowed me to run underwater. I also brought a merfolk trident to chase a fish with. A trident of the seas also works, but the merfolk trident has no stats requirements. So that's pretty useful if you don't have the mage level to equip the trident of the seas. Once underwater, I can talk to Seto and buy an instance that'll be open for 24 hours at the price of 200 nomalite, or buy a permanent instance for 20k nomalite which is what I did. The requirements to get in here aren't even that high. It only requires 47 fishing and 44 hunter, and of course the completion of Bon Voyage. The XP rates on the type of fish you can catch change depending on your level. Like for every hunter level, you receive 1.75 more hunter experience per fish you'll caught. No one really knows the specifics though. I found it kind of cool that you could train two skills at a time. I can't think of many locations that intentionally offer something like that. The downside is that although I'm getting decent experience overall, there are still better training methods for those individual skills. As for the fishing itself, it takes about 10 of these fish shoals to fill up a net, which you can then bank the contents of for the price of fine nomalite. That banking system wasn't there before because it's actually part of some of the improvements that they added to Fossil Island. Before they added that feature, you either had to destroy all your fish or take like a minute or so to bank. Anyway, after you bank or collect all your fish, your drift net will then be destroyed. You can either get more drift nets from banking or from Annette, an NPC that can store up to 2,000 drift nets. She was also added during the Fossil Island improvements. I know something that a lot of people don't like about drift net fishing is how click intensive it can be. At this point, I'm sure that drift net fishing is more click intensive than fishing minnows, and unlike minnows, the fish here don't follow any specific pattern. My strategy for catching these was to continually alternate between whichever drift that had the most fish holes near it. As the fish depleted from one side, I moved on to the other side. That's one big thing that sets drift net fishing apart from any other type of fishing you would find in RuneScape. While drift net fishing, I'd had to focus so much more than any other type of fishing method in catching these because there's just no rhythm to it. Even when I three tick fish or just catch Gwambons, there's always a rhythm or a pattern to them. That's probably why drift net fishing felt so foreign. It's because I couldn't find any distinct pattern to catching these, other than sporadically clicking on the fish hoping that they go into the drift nets. I mean, you can also just stand there and wait for the fish to run into the nets themselves. But that gives no hunter experience. And it's like 1 20th of the fishing XP you would get from chasing the fish into the nets. Okay, so it's about time to move on to the loot. This is all the loot I got from 10 hours of drift net fishing, or 499 drift nets. After selling it, I received 1 mil, and when I reduced the cost of the drift nets, I was left with a loss of 1.5 mil. In order to have broken even, I would have had to have bought the drift nets at 2k each when I bought them at 5k each. So unless they go down in price, you're not going to make any profit from these. But on the bright side, I gained 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 hunter levels, and just one fishing level. At level 86 fishing, drift nets are about 39k fishing XP per hour, and at around 67 hunter, they are 47k hunter experience per hour. So remember that the amount of experience you gain changes depending on your level. I'm probably not going to come back to drift net fishing unless it's buffed again or I'm making a guide video, especially to train something like hunter because at that level I could have been getting nearly twice the amount of hunter experience training at red salamanders. Oh, and I like when Jagex adds a lot of easter eggs or details to updates, so I just need to put them in this video. Like how Annette's name is literally Annette, and how the NPC right outside the drift net fishing area occasionally spits out one-liners relating to the ocean. Yeah, so that's about it. This has been loot from 10 hours of drift net fishing. Thank for watching.